let's go to that first chord of the C section where you are balancing your voices in that chord toward what? The C sharp. C sharp. Yeah, so you want to think, you know, like in your mind, your mind tells you, like Irina Morozova says, mm -hmm. your mind and your imagination tell you that you want that so much. You know, it's true there's a crescendo, but it's a, it's a resolution. Is it a resolution? When you go from, watch, when you do this, you resolve to this. Now, it says crescendo, but I would need the crescendo after that, because watch. watch. Now, da -da -da. See what I did? Yeah. I decided not to smack the D because it is a natural resolution so from the C sharp. It. And it, it seems ridiculous for me to slam down on that D. Plus, it would be what it would be too early in the game to, to, to get play that loud. right yeah. so come under it and then start con considering your crescendo that's that's what i would do okay let's do that again and in two and three resolve good now start getting deeper Ta -da! big you really need big there Pum. big Pum. The, the poke is the, ri the wrist. Because it's not an S V. It's not a sforzato. Sforzato means accent. It's just loud. It's just loud. good. And next one. Now pull this back a little. Now why do we pull that one back? To yeah, another resolution. Yeah, because this. Look, if I filled in the chord, I would resolve it down. Right? I would resolve it down. Right. So slide back. Okay, let's try that again. From the um, C sharp. From here. From the whisper, whisper, whisper. It's mysterious. Two and three and one and two crescendo big. Keep the big sound, but how do you avoid that kind of clunk mm -hmm. from from below? I come from below. Look, try that. Yeah, bring out the D without so much of a clunk. One and two and three and drag it. Now, how are you gonna avoid ba ba ba? How are you gonna get two? Remember we talked about isolating the upper voice? Yeah. The physical sense of the physical sense of da, da. Wait, let's get this. Five, four, three. Just do five, four, three. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm just I'm just talking about the top voice of the six. These are six, right? Are these six? Wait, wait. Are these six? Are these six? What does six mean? There's six notes between six notes the top. Between yeah, because you want to know these are parallel six. But the, the thumb can't do the legato for you. So what has to do the legato is the upper fingers, right? Nice. You have to surrender and defer to the upper fingers. But you have to feel like, what does it feel like just to play the upper fingers and get the legato? So how does it feel? How would you play CBA? Five, four, three. Exactly. Now you have to preserve that in your in your uh, in your mind that that's what you hear. You don't want to change that just because you have thumbs under there. Mm -hmm. You want to think ta, right? So you get ta, 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 seamlessly, seamlessly. Okay. So now preserve that. Now, just because you're going to put a thumb under there six notes away, does it mean that you're going to stop your legato on top? No. But what's the trick to it? How do you do it? You let go of your thumb and let it go. You keep, keep the legato on top. That's better. Yeah. Because this is very hard to do. Now, here, we decided we're going to put our 
five again, and then we want to. And now you take away the what? Take away the F sharp. And you just play the sixth. But that's so clunky though. That's so clunky. And here's why it, it, it can get clunky. Yeah. It's the last, it's, it's even thinking it, you have three eighths, right? Mm -hmm. Even though we're thinking in one really. You don't like to think in three. But we're thinking in three. Let's assume we're think, we are thinking in three. Um, the third beat of three eighths is very light, right? If you conduct. Mm -hmm. Three eighths, you go one, two, three, one, two, right? These are lifted beats. So you want to make it very light on the third beat. Make sure you have, here's your first beat. And less here. Right, and now, that's the down beat. Let's lean more on that. Now again, yield to the top voice. Good, let go of the thumb, hold the top voice. Let go of the thumb, hold the top voice. You got it. It was good. Did you hear the legato? Mm -hmm. Right. So you have to you have to be like challenge your ear to to you know not settle for anything less than right. like that. Okay. Continue. Okay. Come in from below. You're back to that mysterioso kind of. It's mysterious. We don't know where it's going. Breathe in. You make your crescendo over the east. that you have to delay why do you have to delay that a little bit if you don't you can get eh, eh, eh. it would be too sharp well there'll be nowhere it's not no going to go and blossom into a longer note value which has a dot on it come in on that one from below and slower in your mind delay the end like this let's see if we can practice this from below from below move forward on it. Okay, it's a little percussive, but that piano is percussive, so I'm not going to blame that on you. Okay, good. Now let's go back to this. Two and two and three resolve. Come across. And two and three. Biggest one, delay. Right, and the harmony supports that surprise there. That surprise, that last one, how's mm -hmm. it going to be a surprise? Because the, the bass, bass changes. Change the bass changes. Flat. The harmony significantly like opens up into like B flat, which happens to be, right, which happens to be what's called a Neapolitan chord. You know how you make a Neapolitan chord of a minor key or any key? You go to the second degree of the scale, which would be B in A minor, right? Oh, I see. You lower it, half step, and you build a major chord on it. And that is called a Neapolitan chord. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what he does there with that. Watch, watch what he does. It's unanticipated. Right? So fabulous. And then he stays, he stays in that key. This is what key? It's B flat. He stays in the B flat key. Is so beautiful, nice. right? But those half steps are so emotional because it takes us back to what? To A minor, to A minor, by way of A minor is what we call diminished. You go a half step below A, you build what's called a mysterious diminished chord and resolve it back to what? A minor. So the harmonic rhythm impacts how you play this, right? Yeah. You know, by knowing this harmonic shift is like so dramatically different than what came before. It's like opens up the, the gates to B flat major, the Neapolitan key. I see. So all that helps you play it better.